Hi, my name is Patrick, and I know nothing about car care. Detailing 101. Welcome to the final stage of your paint preparation slash protection. This is really it, Dale. This is this is the end of the line for you and I. Huh, only joking. So far, using the ultimate system, we've revived it using the ultimate compound. We've refined it using the ultimate polish, and now we're going to protect it using the ultimate wax. What we're going to do, we're going to show you two different ways of waxing. We're going to show you machine polishing and then hand waxing, because I know everyone out there has a personal preference. And we also have two options when it comes to wax. We have it in the liquid form and the paste form. So we're going to show you our personal preferences and how to use them both to the best advantage. What we're really covering on here is the basics. And again, if, if you are well into your detailing and you know the basics of car care, maybe it's not the video for you. But if you are new to this, you're new to Meguiar's, you're new to our process and products, this is going to be a great introduction to our different shampoos, different processes, and little things like two bucket method and grit guards. If you're not already part of the Meguiar's UK YouTube channel, <laughs> make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Cool, so is there a difference between a liquid wax and a paste wax? Technically no, physically yes, obviously one is a liquid and the one is a hard paste. The liquid can be used with a machine, it can be used by hand also, but for those that want to machine wax their car you'd need to be using the liquid, but paste wax you can only use with your hand. So why the Ultimate and why not anything like the Mirror Bright or the NXT or anything like that? Why the Ultimate? So we're using the Ultimate because it's our kind of most advanced fully synthetic wax, which means a dark colour like yours is going to get that real wet look. Now if this was a solid kind of gloss colour like the yellow or red or blue, we'd use a Canuba based wax to give it a warm depth of glow. Okay. But for ease of use and long lasting protection, because um, we know you're probably not going to wax this you know, for a good few weeks over the winter, we want to give it the ultimate protection. Less really is more when it comes to waxing. Obviously, nice clean pad. These can be machine washed. So every time you, you do wax the car, make sure you put it through the wash. But it also comes in the ultimate paste wax, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So all the waxes come with pads, um, but you want to make sure every time you come to wax it. the car, it's a nice clean pad. I, I mean, I've not been here the whole time, but I'm going to put money on it that Dale's already told you that by his reaction. No, it's just a weird thing to say that it comes with the wax. Pinch the top, place it on the wax, turn it half a turn. Now this is enough to do the whole front end of your car, easily. Oh, really? Yep, so less really is more. Whenever you're waxing a surface, now we are going to break this down into halves. Draw some lines like this, and then in one kind of pass, go over each line. This is going to make sure each surface has got an even spread of wax. Now, I'm not overworking this in. Once I've passed over once and it's got an even spread, I stop. And in circular motion, so why not the hashtag effect? And because we're not working the surface, we're just applying. Right, okay. And Dale did mention earlier that this is the only product that you can actually let cure, um, so it hardens and stuff, so you do get that layer of protection, but whereas like the compound or the polish, as soon as you've kind of put it on, you want to take it off straight away. Um, and that's the difference really between those two and the wax. Good. Right, well that's half done. Should we machine apply the liquid or should we hand apply the liquid? We'll machine apply. We've machine applied the previous two steps, so let's show the difference between the two. Cool. So do you still need to prime the pad? Uh, because we're just applying the product, we're not working the surface. No. With a wax, you just put a nice bit on the, on the pad. And we're using our black finishing pad. So this is the softest of all of our discs. So the feel, I've got the rest as well, not for this one. Oh yeah, it's much softer. Yep. So, you know, we're really backing off from the paint. This is the final step, so it should be the easiest. Yeah. Light them out, and that's it. Cool. Now, you know on our previous steps, we did our spreading speed, which is a slow speed on a machine to apply this, the product to the surface. Yeah. That's all we're doing with a wax. Okay, so slowest speed possible. Correct. Cable over the shoulder. Set it to the slowest speed, and like we said on the previous polishing step, the slower the machine's going, the faster you can go. Perfect.
It does look a lot easier than paste wax. That's because the machine's doing it for you. You know, you get a nice uniform because spread because the machine never really changes what it's doing. Yeah. Um, so that's why some people prefer using a machine. Like I say, I like that kind of hand finish. Yeah. But if, if I was doing a few cars leading up to a car show, then chances are I'll probably be machine waxing them. Yeah. Just, just over time. Get them, get them out quickly. Yeah. Nice. And how long do we have to let this cure for then? It's a bit of a how long's a piece of string scenario. Um, the best way of finding out if your wax is ready to come off is just to swipe it with your finger. As you can see, the swipe is pretty greasy, which means it's still curing. Okay. If that swipe was clear, it means it's ready to come off. Nice one. We'll be back in a few minutes when the wax is cured and You all. Wax is ready. So we've done the swipe test, the wax is now fully cured. You know, on average, if you start the bonnet and work it around the car, by the time you get back to the bonnet, it'll be time to take off. So we're going to use our ultra soft finishing towel. And like we've done previously, I'm going to get it nice and folded. I'm going to have these edges towards here so they're not on the paintwork. And I'm just going to gently wipe it off. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to kind of break the surface tension and take the kind of head of the wax off. Flip it to a new side, wipe the opposite way, and that just gives it that kind of streak free finish. Ooh, that's good, Dale. That's lovely. So, as a bit of a bonus tip, if you've removed the wax and you want to make sure that the car's completely free of anything on the surface, you want to give it that perfect finish, get our ultimate detailer, stand it a bit of a distance from the paint. Just give it a real light spray like this. And what this does is it settles on any wax that's left. Oh. See there? Settles yeah. on any product that's left, which means you can get everything off and give it that perfect finish. So we'll get a fresh towel, take it straight off. So this is great if you've got a white car that's um, notoriously horrible to wax because you can't see the wax on the surface. Yep. This is a nice little tip to help you get that perfect finish. That's going to be it for today's detailing one-on-one -on -one session on how to protect your car. The bonnet looks absolutely beautiful. I think with all three stages, the ultimate compound polish and now the ultimate wax, it looks unbelievable. And I'm really, really impressed with the, the, the difference it, it looks now. So thank you very much, Mr. Guru Dale. No problem at all. If you need any more information on any of the products we've used during this video or any of the videos previously, all the links to contact us pages will be in the description, so websites, Instagram, YouTube, anything like that, you can contact us through all of those or directly through the contact us page on our website. Just to recap, obviously, this is, this is detailing for beginners. Yes. You know, this isn't aimed at the people that are religiously doing their car every few weeks and know everything there is to know about detailing. This is for people like yourselves, so that, you know, yeah, that completely. want to learn how to get the best out of their car. Completely. So, you know, there's no point where we're going to be using pro stuff on this. This is all consumer stuff. This is all stuff you can regularly get at your local stockist. Um, and like I say, this is nice and simple, easy detailing. Well, I found it, I've honestly found it really easy to do and I would feel comfortable now going away on my own to do it at home. <laughs> like it's not, it's not a, a difficult process and it's very simple. Tune in again for the next episode of Detailing 101 where we might tackle the hardest challenge in the world. My interior, that's what's going to be next. Ah, uh, and that's Tom as well. I do paintwork. Yeah, you do paint. Tom does interior. So good luck, Thomas, <laughs> with that. See ya. Thanks for having me. Yep, see ya. Are you going to walk off this time? See ya. Yeah, I'm walking off. So don't touch me. Don't go too don't. far away. You need to stand here. Nice and close. Come on, be closer. Come on. That's nice. Don't. That's nice. There's no need. Hello and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Detailing 101. Well, we've compounded and we've polished the car. We've refined it and we've refined it. Have I just said that twice? 
So. <laughs> refined it and revived it? Revived so, it and no. refined it. <laughs> but paste wax, you can only use with your hand. Your hand application. Use your hand. <laughs> so, yep. So, liquid. <laughs> oh, This is you, this is your this fault. This is not my fault. I'm sweating. Oh my, he is physically broken down in the past Maybe hour. Maybe you should come in for this. The paste, you can, is completely by hand. Uh, this is what, I mean, really? Have come on now. Mean? What happened between compounding and here? Is How are you that sweaty? I've got an underlayer of what? armor. Why? I thought I'd be cold. Things in the rock. Then I realized I'm a fat lad. <laughs> here we have an unmissable beast. <laughs> Not only is his name Tommy Teapot, but he also is known as Thomas. I actually hate you. <laughs>